Arma 3 is one of the most popular realistic tactical shooters, and it just so happens that the armored vehicles are a big part of Arma 3 and have always been in the Arma franchise. In this video, we will take a look at some of the things that Arma 3 does right and some things Arma 3 does wrong about the tanks. This video is sort of a follow-up to my War Thunder Realism video, so if you're interested you can check that one out. But before we go any further, I just want to quickly talk about Brothers in Arms. I have been a member of this Arma 3 clan for some years now and Brothers in Arms is taking in new members. So if any of you are interested in playing mostly PvE Arma 3 missions, with possibly even some Arma Reforger missions, on weekends feel free to join. The link will be in the description. First, we will start with possibly the worst aspect of Arma 3, the damage model. The damage model for tanks in the game is extremely basic. Each tank has 6 modules, main gun, turret, hull, engine, left track and right track, and each module has its own armor and HP. Yeah, that is right, even though it is not evident by the first glance, it does become apparent when you shoot at the vehicles. Now, they do have armor and the damage is only dealt if the armor is penetrated or nearly penetrated, and when the health of a module drops to a certain point, it becomes damaged, which impacts its performance, and when it drops more, it becomes red, which means it has been completely destroyed. Shooting at a place with a crew member behind it can also result in killing the crew member while having the tank still operational. Now, one of the biggest problems is that the modules do not have damaged models. When you completely destroy a track, externally it looks intact as if nothing happened to it. So as an infantryman you could be fighting a tank and after hitting it you would have no visual confirmation of the damage you have dealt to the vehicle, which in my opinion is definitely the biggest downside. Most of the tanks have damage texture overlay for some modules, but some like the M2A1 Slammer don't even have that. When the tank is completely destroyed, all modules simply disappear from the hull. A fire is formed to simulate burning and the hull gets a new texture. This is very disappointing in my opinion. The good news is that the explosive reactive armor is at least well simulated. When hit, it detonates and once it is gone, the protection in that part is worse than it used to be, so at least ERA is well done. The active protection systems are not well simulated either. You see, all the tanks from the base game have the hard kill APS modeled on them, but it's just that, a model. When a rocket or a missile is fired at the tank, it is not intercepted. Instead, the APS works in a very weird way. It notifies the crew when an AT launcher locks onto them and automatically fires smoke once a missile is launched. That is not how it works in real life, because it can't. These kinds of missile launchers can only lock on the heat signature of the target, and the tank can't get a warning when a missile uses its heat signature to guide itself to it, because the locking system does not emit anything that the APS could detect. But now we come to the best part of the game, and that is the handling of the tanks. Each tank has a modeled interior, each crew member has their own station with their own equipment. The commander can look through the periscopes and use the heavy machine gun, the gunner can use the main gun sight and the driver can look through the periscopes and even has a rear view camera when driving in reverse. The fire control system is also decent, at least for the gunner. Tanks have laser rangefinders. When lasing the target, the gun will automatically adjust itself for the selected projectile in elevation. And what Arma 3 has that most of the video games don't is the automatic lead ability. Automatic lead basically gives you the ability to shoot at a moving target by following it with the gun and then lasing it. With it, you can just keep aiming at the center of the target and it will automatically adjust for the target's movement and move the gun to the appropriate position to fire, offset to the sight. I used the projectile tracing and the heat projectile because it's slower in this short clip just so you can see it in action. Now, there are downsides, but they can be easily fixed with some very small mods. The thermals are not the best, they are made for a video game and you can tell. Everything but the hot things are basically invisible, and it really makes hot stuff stand out, which is not the case in real life. There is a mod that changes that, which makes thermals look more realistic. The downside is that the targets appear to be a uniform color and they're not displayed that well as with the basic thermals, but in real life, thermals can also double as night vision because you can see everything pretty clearly. So if you want it closer to reality, then I think this mod, the A3 thermal improvements, will suffice for you. Another downside is that the commander cannot override the turret. 
but for that there is also a simple mod that fixes that, called Commander Turret Override. With those two mods and the game's base handling mechanics, I would say that Arma 3 is among the best games when it comes to modern tank handling. Now, the last part is the environmental effects. That is also not great. Tanks do squish the grass they ride over, but the track imprint is a simple texture overlay and does not change based on the terrain. It is a single texture and no matter if you drive on ground, dirt, asphalt, it will not change. The destruction is okay-ish for the game operating on such an old engine. Tanks can drive through fences and other easily destructible objects. They can also squish some small objects like these pellets, for example. But they can't drive through buildings, at least not through most of them. Not even through buildings like this small shed. Those buildings can be destroyed though, and have damaged models and destroyed models as well. But some of the buildings, like this one, can't be damaged whatsoever. That would be all. If you like my content, you can support me on Patreon. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.